any difficult moments as a coach that you've experienced uh, and you've had to find because a coach I think is very challenging I think as a player if you're competitive if you you can you have to w- just worry about your role and if you don't like it, you're like you know what I'm taking over today I'm taking over and it's not going our way we're gonna I'm gonna figure out a way to get this result as a coach you're depending on your players you know maybe you that this year you don't have your player you're like man we just don't have it. We got to, we got to look for this kind of type of thing. Or maybe you do have them and they're insanely competitive, but you're like, I got to manipulate the environment because they're going to get each other hurt. Mm -hmm. So have you had moments like that where you're like, you had to get creative and um, pushing the buttons? Um, Absolutely. I think, you know, being that this is my third time kind of taking over a program, um, and they're all for like different reasons. You know, Santa Rosa junior college had just come off a state championship. And so there wasn't a problem with like establishing a winning culture or like a tradition of like competing. Um, But that was just a unique situation because of the demographics that are involved and kind of what junior college is um, and what the level looks like and some of the women and what they've experienced kind of before they get there. And for me, the challenge there was putting together an enormous range of, personalities and demographics and I got to bring my daughter to practice or I have to babysit my nephew or you know I can't come to the game because I have you know I got work three jobs or whatever it is there's so many different things and so that was a challenge in and of itself and what I learned from that was just really to kind of develop a more holistic approach to to coaching women and figuring out who they are as individuals and people and what they need to be successful because it's going to be different for everybody and they didn't have that same competitive drive that I did which was hard for me to relate to because um, I was such a young coach at that point uh, coming off, you know, having just played pro and I'm like, why don't you guys care as much as I do, you know, and it's different. They care about other things. There's priorities, but there's a way to have them still be successful and support each other and, and enjoy the experience. Um, but going to San Francisco state, uh, the coach that was there had been there for 33 years. And so I was only the second coach in programs history. And so there was a lot of different traditions and things that I didn't necessarily agree with or understand they were very excited that there was a new coach, um, but talk about like very, very opposite um, in terms of my communication style, my leadership style was profoundly different. And so I had to kind of learn that as well as how do I, you can't come in, you know, just expecting all this change to take place just because you're there. It takes, it takes time. And I think there I learned just, you know, how to be patient um, and, you know, again, understand what it is that that specific group needs to be successful um, above and beyond necessarily what the individual needs. Uh, but that was a really, really unique place to be in um, considering they, they hadn't had a great culture of winning. They hadn't had a lot of success. And for me, like I don't lose. And so that was very, very um, interesting and challenging to try to, like you said, kind of manipulate uh, the players that were there in a positive way to, to get you know, results right away. So I made a lot of roster changes and that was really, really difficult. But coming from a junior college, I basically had brought 15 JC transfers with me. Um, and that ended up being a great move. The, they were ready to play. They had a lot of experience and that wasn't, you know, that was, I, I had to release a lot of players that were there and that was an awful, awful day. It was an awful experience. Um, and it was uncomfortable. And I, you know, I wish I didn't have to do that in, in that way, but you know, it's a disservice to the other players that did want to train, that did want to win championships, that did want to do the right things. And so you have to kind of try to find that balance of what's fair, what's not fair. Um, and what, you know, what group are you supporting and and how does this work? So, uh, coming to UC Davis, um, was also, you know, a pretty unique, um, experience. There's been, uh, I'm the third coach and they've had all female coaches. Um, and, it's been an interesting year for me, for sure, because a lot of, um, you know, they haven't, again, had much success uh, in terms of winning, um, you know, championships or, you know, making playoffs. And it's a fairly recent Division One team. Um, but again, like, recognizing that there have maybe been some, like, traumatic things that have happened in programs or amongst individuals or identifying what's happened previously. And it's like, it's hard because as a coach, you just want to like move forward. You want to jump in and move forward. This is what I want. This is my standards. These are my, my goals and you know, the expectations, but there has to be buy-in. There has to be something like something that 
some validation and some sort of culture that you create that allows players to thrive in that environment. And with that comes respect and trust. And if you don't establish those two things first, then you're going to have a really difficult time imparting anything on your team. And so, you know, to kind of get around the, the experience that players had had previous to me coming to UC Davis, um, I really just tried to focus the most on establishing trust and establishing a res- mutual respect. Um, and that's, that was the main goal for this year. So then, you know, coming into the winter and spring quarter before this fall, obviously pre COVID um, that was kind of the focus was then to start really thinking about the tactics and shaping our culture. Um, but initially it was all about building rapport and building trust and respect and, and recognizing that that's probably what the, the, the current team and the players needed the most based on their previous experience. Right.